look at this he's moved his queen then boom i've got a free rook that's literally a free rook oh my god and now he's under he's underdeveloping his pieces even better for me pieces and then start there we go and then do a checkmate boom there we go and now check that's incredible okay let's review this game start to review so our first couple of moves were a couple of book moves knight to c3 was my last book move i've won 12 times i've lost 14 times i've drawn once that's probably the around about like 50 percent is probably the win rate that you would normally see in a normal game so he responded with uh pawn to d6 it's an inaccuracy why is that inaccuracy let's see now uh what's the best move for that knight to e4 taking the pawn why is that a good move because we can end up forking the king later on we can get this we can get this knight and so instead of trying to back up the pawn you're now you're blocking your bishop maybe get your bishop out so good instead of doing that we should get the bishop out and then start doing other stuff as well knight to g5 he responded with taking the center problem with that is you're establishing control of the center but that's like a false that's a false threat because wherever he goes now if he goes here it's going to be taken by the pawn if he goes here it's going to be taken by the queen if he goes here it's going to be taken by the queen and if he goes not there there and if he goes here it's going to be taken by uh the no not there if it goes there no okay if he goes there it's going to be taken by this pawn or the knight so it's got the opponent trying to establish control in the center but he's not doing anything because that's not that's not that's not harming anybody that's not anyway let's continue with my brilliant move not brilliant oh i wish it was a brilliant move imagine that the moment that i get a brilliant move i'm recording that re i'm recording that game knight uh takes the pawn on f7 is a great move not a brilliant move unfortunately do you know why it's a great move oh my god he can't take it um he has to move his queen now over here or over here and i can move a knight there look at this he's moved his queen then boom i've got a free rook that's literally a free rook oh my god and now he's under he's under developing his pieces even better for me i'm trying to attack his queen did he just give his queen away so i did that if he goes if the opponent goes then i can go knight to c8 forking the rook and the king the king will have to move something like over here then i can take the thing like that and although he, the opponent can take my knight i'm up nine pawns of material the um valuation bar it's absolutely dominating the black side i'm winning all the way no matter what i do i'm winning he moved his queen over here which means i just get the free that's uh, literally a free queen of state that's all happened let me exchange the uh queens knight and the queen then i check the king again trying to get my knight to escape and it's, i'm up 10 points of material whatever i do now best thing to do is just just to trade trade all your pieces down like i'm doing over here i'm trading all my pieces down so once you're up there we go that check me so once you're up five pawns of material trade off the pieces simplify the game and you're winning that's me with 82.1 percent accuracy 80 percent of my moves i played the most optimally no blunders no misses no mistakes that is crazy got nine best moves and seven excellent moves eight good moves four book moves which were at the beginning and five inaccuracies which is not that bad actually considering that i'm literally like a 500 next game we have yevanovic 91 447 elo nice name no nice profile picture i think mine is better but anyway i played this one with a 80 percent accuracy as well the guy actually got a brilliant move the opponent got a brilliant move and yet i still won if he can just strangle the opponent like strangle him then you got power i did that instead i castled as well and then that guy was trying to push my uh bishop away that was a mistake i should have taken instead because i'm up i'm, up, I'm not up three points of material what should i have done then what should i have taken what should i have done that's an inaccuracy as well i thought about i thought so maybe i could have done something like that hawking that's a good move or i could have done that pinning the knight but i'm not sure what i'm pinning the knight to there's literally nothing that i'm pinning the knight to so that's an inaccuracy as well yeah 
Uh, yeah, that's a that's a bad move as well. Yeah, I thought so. That's best. Oh, because um, the, the, the uh, computer's trying to get the queen. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, then anyway, that's good. That's a brilliant move. The opponent did a brilliant move. Let's see what brilliant move he did. Probably wasn't even that good. Not gonna lie. Why is that brilliant move? Because he's forking the queen and the rook. That's a great move as well. He just thought, what? Why? How was that a great move? Okay, that was a free pawn. That's a, literally the only reason why it was a great move. It was a free pawn. It is equalized position now because now, although the opponent ha doesn't have a good, um, like, he hasn't developed all his pieces, he still got this bishop hanging and. That, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so, you, you do, you could, you, you want, you want. Wait, whoa, 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 that's, that's spoilers, spoilers. You didn't see that, that was spoilers. Okay, where was I? Yeah, he did two. Pretty good moves. That was a mistake. Why was that a mistake? Because now I've joined up the pawns together. That's a double isolated pawn, which is not good. You never want that. That's a great move. Yeah, that's just basically it. It's great and awful pawn structure. Oh, they know why. They know why. We can do. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Wait, no. Go back. Let's go this. On passant, baby. On passant. Let's go. We can do the. And I've created the past pawn on my own now. Because look, it's only two spaces away from becoming a queen. That's an inaccuracy. Why? Because I can just get over the um, rook. That's a miss. Because take with that. I t oh yeah, now I move my rook to e1. That prevents um, the opponent from taking my knight. Why is that a blunder? Because that leaves this unguarded. And if that takes, and I've got that. And I got that. And I got... Wait. Why was that a good move? Oh, I didn't see that. Because now the rooks can be forked. Oh my god, that makes so much sense now. Because now I can do... Boom. 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 Boom, boom, there we go, and now, check, that's incredible, nice, that's a good move, targeting the rook, that was an inaccuracy, what should I have done, because that, that, that's, that's what I was talking about before, that's a false threat, the rook is threatening this pawn over here, but that's, moving the rook to g7 does not accomplish anything, that literally does nothing. What a what a better move would have been is targeting the rook. There we go. But I'm still winning anyway. So now I have moved. So now then I did a great move on my own actually. I moved the rook to e8, forking. I think it's a fork anyway. Forking the king and the bishop. Allow me to take the bishop like that. Now I'm up five points of material. You know what the drill is. Once I'm up five points of material, you can see in the evaluation bar as well. This, this game is very easy. Trade the pieces, simplify the game, turn a pawn to a queen. There we go. Now I'm up 12 points on the table. It's super easy for me to win the game. Take all the opponent's pieces and then start. There we go. And then do a checkmate. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So, yeah, that's that looks good. That looks good. So that was another game that I did. So what lessons we learn? We learn to always try to control the opponent. Be like a snake. Be like Magnus Carlsen. Is he a snake? Maybe he's a snake. Maybe he's part lizard. <gasps> Magnus Carlsen is a lizard. Secure the opponent's control and squish the opponent like a tiny bug. Like we did. Like well, I didn't do it in this game, but if I did the after the retries, that's what I would have done. Securing my position, strengthening my position actually, because then I would have taken control of five rows, whereas the opponent would have only taken control of eight. And that is the main lesson for this game. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, just, let me just check one more thing. Why was that a good bad move? Oh yeah, because I could take, I could have taken knight, allowing me to go like boom, checking the king, and do other stuff, do the other stuff as well. And I could have gone like boom. 
Easy mode. Okay. Uh, yeah. The final game. Let's go. And this is the game where I unfortunately lost, but it was against a very good opponent who played with a 91 percent accuracy imagine that nearly nearly all of your moves playing with a 100 percent accuracy that is crazy let's start to review it as you can see by this review bar it doesn't look good for me no great moves or brilliant moves were made it's just that opponent, the opponent was able to con secure control let's see that was the last book move that was um <laughs> a very quick yeah it's so an england gambit basically what you can do you can either accept the gambit by taking the pawn or you can decline the gambit by not taking the pawn by going over here or by going over here or by going over here or doing something else like that maybe even going like that those are all not bad not bad moves but not good moves as well the best thing over here would be to accept the england gambit as said by the computer and then that has some variations as well those variations allow the white to secure control in the center early from here i try to do i try to do the london but obviously the london cannot work if this pawn is in on C2 isn't there, so just a sort of mish mishmash of whatever I could, have, whatever I tried to come up with, that sort of sort of resembles the London. But look, my, my kings, my kings cannot go anywhere. Trapped by my own pieces. Oh my god, it's so bad. That was a mistake. That was a mistake that I did over there. Let's see the let's see the mistake. So the opponent is already up just because of the England gambit and this pawn not being there. Yeah, so I tried to do the London, it didn't work out because this piece wasn't here, the vital function, vital part of the London is for that piece to be there. And then I could have maybe did something better trying to castle the king early on. That was the main mistake I did as well. I did not castle my king because now my king is surrounded by my own pieces, which means that I, would, I could not go anywhere. But now that, yeah, I had to take with that pawn. There was no other way for me to do. Oh no, I could have taken with the knight. That's what I should have done. Yeah, but no, not that move. That move is a good move. This was a bad move. I should have taken with the knight. Because that then that does not damage my pawn structure then. Because now look, now look. I've already got two isolated pawns on... Not that, that's a bishop. I've already got two is, isolated pawns. Three isolated pawns. Um, rank F column and one on the, one on the uh, D column. If I did that, that would have been four isolated pawns. So if I did this, one, two, three, four isolated pawns with a triple pawn vertical tower. It looks disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Knight takes f3 is best, as shown by the computer. Queen to e7 inaccuracy, but it doesn't really matter at this point. The, the guy is one. Look at this. After after that move, there was literally maybe there was slight hope left. I'll have to take the if do knight to f3 taking the bishop, but yeah, this guy was too good. After that triple pawn structure, it was only a matter of time because once the queen is moved over here, that that li that's literally threatening me. That is threatening me. Oh my goodness gracious me! And I thought castling was not a mistake because it looks like my king is getting to safety. But what I didn't realize is that due to the weaknesses in my pawn structure on my king's side. It was very very easy for my opponent to take advantage of this and end up checkmating my king which we'll see in a couple of moves down the line uh, king to e, uh, queen to e2 is best because this is offering offering an exchange of queens and once the opponent moves here the opponent can get that the opponent can get that all of my pawns are like not defended is excellent yet yeah, but at this point there was really nothing that i can do because now it's just free pickings now the guys, the, once you know, once a guy is five pawns up, then you know you're in trouble. Then you know that you've lost. And my opponent was five pawns up, which means that he was going to win. Once you trade a piece and simplify the structure, once you have a couple of pawns up, that allows you to easily promote a promote your past pawns to queens and checkmate the king. Once you've taken everything else as well. I've got two seconds left. That's not even two minutes, two seconds. Two seconds left while the guy is comfortable at two minute forty seconds left on his clock i spent too much time in the um over here whilst this guy started checking at me because i knew that i already lost i knew i could see this evaluation bar plummeting down in my head and i knew that i lost so i tried to spend a lot of time trying to think of a way to get out of the situation but i'm not at that level yet which means i, I there's no way that i can get out of the situation now and then after simplification that's a nice pawn structure i might add 
I end up losing. On, I'll end up losing on time. And that was the board. That's what the board looked like when I lost. I did, I did try to do as good as I can, but with that beginning, me trying to me trying to play a London without the proper pieces of the London there. It just won't end up well, mate. It just won't end up well, you know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, it was very easy for the opponent to secure that victory. Hopefully, me and Super10078 can play again. If you guys want to, if you guys want to play me as well, just join my Discord server. I'll put a link in the description, and then we can play each other. And then maybe I can review it. Maybe if you beat me, I can, put it, I can make that as a review on my video. But apart from that, guys, this has been RK Chess. Me reviewing chess games that I've won, and one game, two chess games that I won, and one game that I lost. You've learned something out of this as well as me. Force the opponent to make moves. Always try to get go for the highest value piece that you can. Only do what you know. If it is in a situation that you're familiar with. It's been RK Chess. It's Hanging Out. See you in the next episode of Journey 2000 ELO. I'm making this conclusion too long. Extend the watch time. Let's go. But anyway, yeah. Peace.